So what is actually going on at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN? Well, the collider itself is a huge set of electromagnets, all aligned in a ring about 27 kilometres in circumference, passing underground through France and Switzerland. Although it's considered to be a single pipe, accelerating protons very close to the speed of light, it's actually two pipes capable of moving protons in opposite directions. These pipes intersect at four points along its length. Protons are fired into the synchrotron, which then continually nudges or pulls the protons along faster and faster till they're travelling at a speed just three metres per second slower than the speed of light. Once they've reached this speed, protons for one pipe are then introduced into the other pipe, where it's hoped they will collide and scientists will then monitor what happens as a result. It's what happens when parts of these atoms smash into each other that scientists are keen on observing, hence why these types of machines are often called atom smashers. After a collision, the proton smi splits up into smaller component parts, including things like mesons and bosons and other exotic particles. Detecting these fragments and interpreting the results is the key part of the purpose of the LHC, or Large Hadron Collider. Now, Some of the numbers involved in, this, in the collider are absolutely staggering. The temperature inside the collider is 1.9 Kelvin, or 1.9 degrees above absolute zero, or to put it another way, about minus 271 degrees centigrade. Uses over 1,600 massive electromagnets and at full speed the particles within it will do 11,000 laps in a single second. All of which takes place in as near a vacuum as we can create in such a large structure. There have been some worries about the dangers of what might happen when we break down these particles into smaller parts. Could they possibly endanger the Earth? The key one of these has been the theoretical possibility they could create a mini black hole ending all life on Earth. Well, the good news here is that it's been even for a theoretical possibility, you need a collider of a diameter larger than that of the whole of the Earth. Even if you somehow did create a mini black hole, the Earth doesn't have enough mass to sustain the black hole. The idea of the whole of the Earth collapsing into the size of something, say, about the size of a coin, just isn't possible. The absolute worst case scenario is that you have a kind of a localised implosion where temporarily the local matter was pulled in to the event only to be expelled shortly afterwards as the mini black hole be unable to sustain the effect. Depending on exactly how this happened, let's say it's just a theory, you create damage anywhere from say a small hand grenade to about a 50 pound bomb. Certainly nothing to be worried about on a global scale. The other worry revolves around the naming the Higgs boson particle as the God particle. The name itself is misleading. All it refers to is an elementary particle which lasts only a fraction of a second, which in turn proves the existence of the Higgs field. The boson, being an elementary particle, is needed to build all the other elements that exist in the universe around us. As such, a fundamental building block of the universe, so it doesn't have any mythological interpretations, just an attempt in 1993 to make some of the complicated physics a bit more accessible to the general public. So that's the Large Hadron Collider at CERN.